well ready to start a new class Just wait for everybody to get connected. Hello, Sonia. Hello, teacher. How are you? Mm, I'm tired. <laughs> tired? Why? Why? Tell me why. What did you do today? Um, I checked the ca cases. Mm -hmm. um, ¿cómo, es? ¿Cómo digo que nos reportaron los clientes? Clients were reported to us. Where, ¿Cómo? where reported? Clients where, where? Were, were reported to us. Ah, okay. Clients were reported to us. And statistics. 
statistics. And in statistics and... Um, okay, listen, listen, listen. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Statistics. Statistics. ¿Cómo? Statistics. Es statistic. Así. With T. T. Statistics. Es statistic. Yep. Like that. Okay. Um, yes, me canso. Okay, so you were busy today. And what are the plans yes. for tomorrow? Um, I am cleaning my house. Oh, so you don't uh, go to work tomorrow? No. Bueno, me va a tocar porque que con pendientes, pero quizás por la noche. At night? Uh, yes, uh, but the day um, is ocupado. The day is busy or the a schedule? Ya está um, programado. Schedule? Yes, schedule. And um, I have, um, ¿cómo es? Tengo que llevar a mi mamá a consulta. Okay, I have to take my mom. I have to take my mom. For an appointment. For an appointment. Really? Yes. Okay, okay. so you, you have a lot to do tomorrow. Yes. Uh, I check, uh, yo, I, ¿cómo es que yo voy a revisar los, las tareas o, o las cosas de estudio de mis hijos? I will check. También. I will I check. will es futuro. Yep. Es porque va a ser mañana. Ah, okay. I will check my homework my, my children. Kids, my kids or my children's homework. Homework. My kids or my children's homework. Okay. Children, children. Children. Yes, children is plural. Um okay. Ocupado. Okay, busy, yeah. I can tell you're gonna be busy tomorrow. Well. Yes. That's the way it is. Okay. What about you, Edwin? How's your day going to be? How's tomorrow going to be? Hello, good evening, teacher and Sonia. Good evening. Good evening. Um, my day, great day. Um, and they the opportunity to rest all day. That was today. Yeah. Okay. What about tomorrow? How's tomorrow going to be? Working. <laughs> Working? Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry for you. But don't I'm worry. Finish, I'm, I'm finished. Day off. <laughs> okay. But don't worry. I mean, you are not the only one. So, what's your schedule for tomorrow? All day long? Uh, yeah. Uh, seven. I am to 5 p.m. From 7 to 5. Yeah. A long day. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Eso see. no sé cómo decirlo en inglés. Solo que ahorita está tranquilo el trabajo. Okay, no right now, pedos. there's not too much pressure. Yeah. There is not, there is not too much pressure like this Oops. there is not there too there i'm sorry pressure. there there is not too much pressure yeah, there is not much too much pressure that's cool mm -hmm. that's cool yeah. let's see for me tomorrow tomorrow i'm um, well i have to go teach a class uh, eh? yeah it's just one student Ooh. but in the class is two hours and it takes me 45 minutes to get there, 45 minutes to come back. So the whole morning. In the afternoon, let me see, I have to work on the computer, preparing material, checking classes, 
uh, checking information, preparing reports, Sunday, preparing classes, and tomorrow at night, checking homeworks from people, from beginners to, I mean, from this course, tomorrow I will check the homeworks on the platform. Oh. So yeah. it's gonna be interesting my weekend. <laughs> Your only day off is Sunday. Nope, not really, because on Sundays, uh, I prepare the classes for the rest of the week. Oh, oh teacher, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, but you know, I mean, uh, the good thing of working from, from my house is that I, is that I prepare from, I mean, I manage, I create my own schedule. Yo creo mi horario. Uh, I mean, on eight. Sundays, I wake up a little bit late, like eight. And then I do the cleaning and perhaps I go to the market and I do some laundry. Ahí compensa le, los fines de semana que no se toma completo. Yeah, so I mean, it's like that. My days are interesting <laughs> something because Monday, Monday, I have to go to, I have to go out to work in the morning, just in the morning and in the afternoon I work from home. So it's busy. <laughs> uh, heavy days. And not that much because, I mean, as I tell you, if I get bored sometimes, if I get bored, if I'm tired, I just move, I go to the sofa, I, I start reading, I mean, I get a book, I start reading to relax. Oh, okay. And then I go back to work. So it's... <laughs> It varies, it varies. Well, okay. thank you, Edwin. Let's see, what about thank you, Vladimir? You. Tell me, what's Saturday going to be like for, for you tomorrow? Tomorrow, uh, it's gonna be great. Well, because my my wife was sick, she's incapacitada, how do you say it? Okay, she's got a leave of absence. I give you that word the other day. Sorry, sorry. She's got a leave of absence incapacity okay leave she is of absence, leave of absence. She, and she has she, she has, has. Mm. or you can say it like this i mean you can say it she has got she has got leave okay. of absence she's got a leave of absence That's, okay okay so tomorrow you are not going to take her to work no, I'm gonna. Uh, well, I guess I, I, I'm gonna wake up later. Okay, that's cool. Yes, that's cool. Maybe uh, nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Yes. <laughs> that's nice. Yeah. I'm gonna aprovechar. How do you say aprovechar? Take advantage. Take okay, I got advantage. It. I'm going to take advantage. You're going to take advantage of the situation. That's cool. I mean, yeah, you can rest more. Yes. And both of, both of ten, two days. Um, both Saturday. days. Both yes, days. Third, both days. Saturday and Sunday. Because she has got to take advantage from Friday to Sunday. She's got leave of absence. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, that's nice. That means that you're going to be like cool. Yes, but I need to do, and I don't start my stia, the master yet until next Saturday. Oh, well, that's good for me. Yeah, that's nice. No, that's nice. No classes, no drive. Yeah, driving is stressful. Yes. Tell me about it. Uh, I guess I'm going to visit my mom to Colonia Matepec. Oh, really? Next. That's Yes, she lives there. That's cool. Yes, I need to llevarle. How do you say llevarle? To take her, to bring uh, her. To, to bring her medicine for okay. for uh, our, our Art arterial pressure. What? Pressure. Uh, pressure arterial. Pressure arterial. Low, arterial pressure. low pressure. Low, low pressure. pressure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's. Yes. 
that is something very delicate. Yes, my father dead yeah, from the heart. Died from? Died from for that situation. Okay, yeah. You got to be careful. Okay. Let's say, in my family, people pass away because they are too fat. My family is because they are too fat. They got but you're, you're Zini. Yeah, I think I'm adapted. Creo que a mí me <laughs> Come on, teacher. Look, listen to me. My sister weighs 230. Wow. My mom weighs 225. Oh, come on. My brother weighs around 235. My shortest sister, mi hermana la más bajita, she weighs around 190. My dad, really? my dad weighs 175. Oh, teacher. In my That's family, really good. In my You're family, adopted. they are a little bit big. <laughs> what about you? Actually, you in, my, in my case, <laughs> in my case, it's just that I take after my grandpa. I say ah, after my your grandpa was in it. Yep. And I look like him. Oh, really? Yep. Your grandpa by your father or your grandpa by your mother? My mother. So my mother's side. Ah, okay. So that's why I, I, I am thin, but the rest of my family, they are big. <laughs> oh, well. And I, look, I got a 13 years old niece. Tengo una sobrina 13 años and she waits. A uh, hundred and eighty. I weighed two hundred pounds. How how tall are you? I'm uh, not very tall. Uh, one meter seventy two centimeters. What do you say centimeters? Centimeters. 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 Oh, just like me, exactly like. Yes. Me. I am. Like those in Spanish. I am one seventy two also. Okay. Yeah, that's the same, same height, the same no. height. The same, no, I don't know. No, the same height. Ah, yes, the same that height. Altura. Altura. Yeah. Yes, sorry. Let's see, let's see. Let's find out about our classmates. What about you, Edwin? How tall are you? What's your height? Hello? Um, I'm one seventy five. Yeah. Okay. He's taller than us, Vladimir. Yes. <laughs> what about you, Oscar? Hello, Oscar. Tengo un hermano que mide uno noventa y ocho. Oh my gosh, that guy is. Yeah. He plays basketball. Yeah. Golpea la golpea la parte de la puerta. He's tall. <laughs> 198. Man, that's tall. Thank He's you. Tall. What about you, Oscar? <laughs> Hello, good Oscar. Evening. Good, evening. good evening, teacher. Tell me, Oscar, how tall are you? What's your height? What, please? What is your height? How tall okay. are you? ¿Qué tan alto es? Ah, uh, eh. Um, one uh, seventy. One seventy. Yes. Okay. 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 So that's that's not. I mean that's average. So let's see. Let's see. You are five feet. Five point. Oh, um, let me see. I am 5.6, you must be around 5.5. 5. Uh, 5. 5, right? Yeah, around 5.5. Yeah, that's 5.5. 5. Yes. Vladimir and me, we are 5.6. Wow, it's tall. No, really, 172 is not tall. I mean, next to Edwin's brother, 
nobody stole. A la par de Edwin, nadie stole. Nadie stole. Yeah. <laughs> yes. His brother is very tall. What about you, Sonia? How tall are you? What's your height? Uh, 165. 165. Okay, guys. For Monday, I need everybody from here to bring me your height in feet and inches. Okay? El lunes okay. está en todo altura, pero en pies y pulgadas. Because in English, you don't say 172. We say 5.6. Okay? So, Vladimir got no problem. He knows already. Okay. But the rest of you, the thing is this, that, well, if you are in England, in England, you can say 172. En Inglaterra sí podemos decir que medimos 1.72 metros. But in the United States, you don't use it like that. You say it in feet and inches. En los Estados Unidos lo decimos en pulgadas, en pies y pulgadas. En pies y pulgadas. Yep. That's the way we do it. So, for Monday, I need you to, every, all of you have it like there in your mind. El lunes lo tenemos que tener ya listo en la mente. Ok. So, let's see, let's see. Alfonso, hello, good evening, how are you? Good evening. How are you, mister? Um, so, so. <laughs> so, so. Okay, how was your day? Uh, para decir, muy cansado. Tired. Well, actually, sure. tiring. Or tiring. tired. Yeah, you can say tired. I have a, a tired day or a tiresome day. Tired someday. Tired someday. Ah, okay. Uh, yes. Um, um, more. Um, uh, mucho trabajo. A lot of work. A lot of work. Oh. Okay. A lot of work. Okay, okay. Today's class yes. is going to be easy. Easy, cheesy. Let's see how many do I have? Oh, 13. Well, I got an announcement for you guys, but I'll give it later. Tengo un anuncio para ustedes, pero se lo voy a dar después. Well, no, perhaps okay. I will tell to the ones and I will repeat it at the end of the class. Se lo voy a mencionar algunos y lo repetiré al final de la clase. I'm sorry, I'm going to talk into, I'm going to switch into Spanish for, a, for an explanation. Perdón, es que pase el español completamente para una explicación. Eh, a partir del día, del día lunes va a cambiar la metódica de... ¿Se recuerdan que los días miércoles estaban programados algunos para que se quedara 10 minutos conmigo? Y para algunos de ustedes era pesadito porque esos 10 minutos eran hasta las... Algunos les tocaba 10.30, 10.40. Ok. Este, se gestionó y nos han aprobado que a partir del día lunes lo vamos a trabajar de una manera distinta. Al final de la clase me voy a quedar 10 minutos con cada uno, o sea, todos los días yo voy a estar 10 minutos extra acá conectado y voy a tener programado esos 10 minutos para ustedes, lo cual quiere decir que la clase, este, vamos a terminar cabal a las 10 en punto, that's good news for the rest of you, eso es bueno para el resto de ustedes, y con quienes tengan que quedarse, solo serán 10 minutos. Y eso creo que también es más efectivo porque tenemos las dudas más frescas, estamos todavía un poquito dentro del the rhythm of the class, el ritmo de la clase. So, it's going to be fun. Será divertido. And let's see. Déjenme mencionarles. El día de mañana les van a poner un mensaje ya oficial. Pero yo les adelanto. Ya me autorizaron que les adelantara esta información. Y quiero ver. Yo ya tengo el listado de quienes van conmigo el día lunes. Solo den un segundo. Okidoki. Veamos. Día lunes. Lunes le corresponde a Vladimir Antonio Martínez Molina. Martes, Alfonso Antonio. Miércoles, Walter José Ruiz. Jueves, Iván y Elizabeth Rodríguez. Y viernes, Evelyn Patricia Caballero. ¿Ok? Si alguno de ustedes durante la semana este, no puede, me avisa para programar a alguien más. Si alguno de ustedes llega a necesitar quizás 
paciente que tiene un par de dudas y necesita atención, que no quiere esperar tanto tiempo, igual me avisa y podemos ver cómo nos coordinamos para atenderle. ¿Ok? So, let's continue. Es, that was the, 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 the news. Teacher, yes. teacher, la question. Los que ya estuvimos la sesión, ya pasó. Entonces, ya, ya. Yep, you are free. Unless, a menos okay. que, a menos que usted sienta que necesita, que han surgido nuevas dudas y necesita que le aclare algunos puntos, igual, podemos okay. coordinarnos y yo veo cómo hago un espacio para atenderme. Ok, thank you, teacher. You're welcome, no problem. So, let's see, let's continue, let's continue. Let's see who else is around. Berta, hello, Berta, how are you? Hi, teacher, good evening. Good evening, how are you doing? Hi. That's good, that's good. How was hello, your day? A lot of work. A lot of work. It's wow. very tired. It's very tired. Don't worry, we are going to have fun here today. We are going to do a lot of activities, so you are not going to feel those two hours. Ni va a sentir estas dos horas. Thank you, Berta. Arvin, hello, good evening. How are you? Hi, teacher. How are you, mister? Um, bien, right? Bien, come on, good, great. So tell me, right. what about tomorrow? What are the plans for Saturday? What are you going to do tomorrow? Excuse me? What are your plans for tomorrow? Um, um, work. Okay. So, yes. So, do you work all day long or just part of the day? On the day. All day long. Oh, well, it's going to be tiring for you. Today we are going yes. to talk about something related to that. Thank you very much. Let's see who else do I have. Susana, where are you? Susana, Susana. Oh, there's Susana. Hi. Hi, Susana. How are you, miss? Good. Happy Good. and tired. Okay, you are... You are very specific. I like that. Good, happy, and tired. That's nice. Yes. So that yes. means that you have a busy day, but everything is good. Yes. Right? And today is Friday. Okay. That's cool. Today is Friday. So tomorrow yes. you rest. Come on, Susana. Yes. You got four kids. When you have four kids, there's no resting time. No. Okay. But is como se dice con solo no ir al trabajo o estar pendiente suficiente. okay yeah just just without being like there in the in the job is is enough okay it's enough well yeah because because that i am happy okay that's cool that's cool thank you Susana. <laughs> yes. walter ruiz hello mister oh you are busy no problem, no problem, no problem. I was wondering why Walter was frowning. He had a frown. Do you know that word, guys? He had a frown. He tenía un frown. Frowning is this. Look, look at me. That expression. Fruncir el ceño. That frowning. Frowning. Now, look at me. This expression right here is to nod. So when people nod, they are nodding. Okay, nod, nodding. And people are also shake their heads. When you say no with your head, you shake your head. Okay. Some people greet each other, algunas personas se saludan, with a nod, okay? We greet like this. Well, if it's to a lady, usually we men, si los hombres saludan a una mujer, we do it, we nod from up to down. We go like, hi, right? 
or if we want to show respect. Si queremos mostrar respeto. Or if it's a lady, if it's una dama, we, we usually do it from up to down. We know from up to down. If it's to another friend, to another man, we go from down to up. We go like, hi. You see? But both actions are still nodding. Okay? Well, let's continue. That was the commercial. Let's continue. Let's continue. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Well, it's time for me to get the attendance. So please be ready. Today is the fifth. And Alfonso Antonio Cabrera. Present. Arvin Enrique Ramos Mundo. Present, teacher. Berta Maritza Molina de Villalta. Present, teacher. Claudia Guadalupe Alfaro López. Eh, Daisy Elizabeth Celaya Gómez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Edwin Daniel Sevillano Deras. Edwin is somewhere. Must be busy. Oh, thank you, Vladimir. Vladimir is back. Okay, let's see, let's see. Let me just continue with this. After Edwin comes Evelyn Patricia Caballero de Molina. Here. Ivani Elizabeth Rodriguez Ramos. Karen Litzet Garcia Rodriguez. Luis Armando Leiva Rodas. Present teacher. Mauricio Arnoldo Quintanilla Cuellar. Oscar Armando Rodríguez Rodríguez. Present teacher. Ricardo Alberto Hernández Monge. Absent. Roxana Claribel Trejo de Pérez. Sandra Yanira Moreno Sarabia. Sonia Mabel Lazo González. Present. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Vladimir Antonio Martínez Molina. Present teacher. Walter Alexander Arana Cortés. Present teacher. Walter Jose Ruiz Ayala. Present teacher. Thank you. Karen Isel García Rodríguez. Present teacher. Karen. Thank you, Karen. <laughs> Welcome to the class. Let me check where is Karen. Thank you. Karen, 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 right here. Okie dokie. Well, guys, let's see. Thank you. <sighs> We are going to work. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Sonia, Sonia, you told me that you just work five days in the week, right? What? How many days a week do you work? How many days? In a ah, week? At five, five days. Five days in a week. Okay, five, perfect. Uh -huh. uh, what about... Edwin, I never understand your schedule. How many days a week do you work, Edwin? Uh, maybe, maybe a veces, verdad? No, sometimes. Sometimes, sometimes five days. Uh -huh. And week and sometimes six days. Okay. Depending on my schedule. Schedule. Uh, casual, sorry. Casual. No problem. I know that word is difficult. That word is difficult. Yeah, casual. <laughs> I know, I know. What about you, Karen? How many days a week do you work? Uh, five days. Five days a week. Okay, that's cool. And tell me. Yes, five days. Five days. Do you do... Extra hours in your company? No. No. Um, That's cool. No. That's cool. That yes. Means, that means Very that. cool. That means nice. that the time that you have allowed, assign it is enough. El tiempo es enough. No. It's enough. No. Sometimes. Mm. Yeah. Uh, eight or eight hours. Today, day okay. hour, day for day, any. Okay, that's cool. Let's okay. see, let's see, let's yes, cool. see. Vladimir, what about you? How many days a week do you work? 
five from Monday to Friday. Okay, how many hours a day? Uh, a from a thirty to four thirty. So in your company, there's no extra hours. No, but you have the compromise of something. Well, if you, I were an TI, but something happens, you need to go to the office. Okay, yeah. If there's yes, an emergency. But, yes, you need to go. Uh, it doesn't matter the hour. Oh, really? Yes. So sometimes you have to go at night. At night, at the madrugada, how do you say madrugada? Early in the morning. At early in the morning, or work on holidays. It does depend. It's not, it's not usual. Yeah, yeah, it's just for emergencies. Yes. Well, yeah, your, your area is cybersecurity, so. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's a little complicated. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine, I can imagine. Let's see, thank you, Vladimir. What about okay. you, Walter? Tell me, Walter, do you work extra hours in your company? Walter Arana, I'm sorry. Sorry, teacher. Uh, repeat, please. Do you work? Do you have to do extra hours in your company? Uh, some, some time. Uh, uh, accounting closing. Okay. So in the end of the month, you are always busy. Busy. Okay, okay, that's fine, that's fine. And tell me, how many days a week do you work? Five or six? Uh, six day six in the days. Six days. So five full days and Saturday just half? It's half. Okay, interesting. So, Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Where? is why do i have 14. okay well what am i asking this because we are going to work with that a little bit and something that we must be clear about is this that extra hours when we are working in english you can also say it overtime okay overtime El tiempo extra que trabajamos. You can also say it overtime. Okay. Now, let's see. Let me show you something because we are going to start with the conversation. Okay, we have a conversation here that we need to practice. I need you to please listen and read. Only listen and read, okay? And the conversation is in page number 16 from your manuals, okay? Página 16 del manual. It goes like this. Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work four weekdays and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. I repeat. Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work four weekdays and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, 
right? Absolutely. One more time. Listen. Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you. How many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work four weekdays and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time. Right? Absolutely. Okay, guys. After we do the exercise, we are going to check some phrases and some vocabulary, okay? Después de que hagamos el ejercicio de la repetición, vamos a revisar vocabulario. Let me create a group. So you are going to be working right now. You are going to have four minutes for you to practice the pronunciation. And groups are created. Let's see. Perfect. Let's jump in, please. Okay, let's go check. Days a week do you work? Give me a second. I don't know that page. Days three. I send the image to the group. Les envié la imagen al grupo. Yes. Hi Ben. Well, I work five days a week. And you? Days three. I work. That's great. I great. work. Great. Great. That's great. I work for weekday and something on Saturday. Really? On Saturday, do you work extra hours and how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes. I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. Each, each. It's, it's around $10. No, I'm sorry. Each extra hour. Okay. Each. Mm -hmm. I see well. Sometimes there is not much time running. Absolutely. 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 Okay. Y ahora yo ven. Shane. Yes, sí, sí. Sí. Hoy sí cambiemos. Yo empiezo. Okay. Ahora dice. Switch, switch. No cambiemos. Switch. Switch. <laughs> Let's switch. Let's switch. Let's Okay. Let's see. I'm Ben. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, okay. Sonia. Sonia, who are you doing? I want to ask you 
how many days a week do you work? Hey, Karen. Well, I work five days a week, and you? Thanks. A great. That's a great. That's great. Nada más. Oh, that, that's that's great. great. That's great. That's great. I I work for week days and sometimes Saturdays. Really? On Saturday? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do you they do they pay pay, Bella? Yeah. Pay for hey. each extra hour. Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to, the, to do. Each extra ish. hours. Each. Each. <laughs> Sykes, Sykes, right? Sykes. That's people who speak English very fluently. <laughs> hey, hello, Sweet. teacher. Hello. Which people? Who speaks English very fluently? Uh, we're... In the workplace of Alfonso's workplace. Alfonso's workplace. Oh, yeah, that's Sykes. Yes. Yeah. That's the goal of Alfonso. He wants to learn English for talk with all people in the building. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Good yeah. goal. Yeah, I have some friends over there. Yo tenía algunos amigos ahí. It's heavy. The schedules there are heavy. Los horarios ahí son pesaditos. Yes, very heavy. But the money is good. The pay is As, good. Yeah, well, it depends. It depends on the account you got. Depende de la cuenta. Um, once, once they call me from Sykes and they wanted to to give me an account to get me working on an account for uh, travel agencies. Uh, and I could like Expedia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the salary was good, the bonuses were good, but the training was six weeks. Creo que el training para eso. Six semanas. Plaza era seis semanas. And I mean, I wasn't really interested in that. Realmente no estaba interesado en eso. I mean, what about the account of the I? Are the pays good? Yeah, you know. Yeah, well, yes. it depends on the account and on the company, because I mean, there's also uh, what's the name of Telos? Telos is a, also a good company, and in Telos they pay more. Okay. In Telos, in, in Converges, Concentrics. Yeah. I mean, now they are they are many. They are many. There's. Well, uh, TP, teleperformance. Yeah. TP. Yeah, there's TP also. And you know, people who work in call centers, they are like moving from one to another. They move a lot. Yes. <laughs> you finish? Yes, yes finish. teacher. Okay, let's go back. Okay. Uh Hi. Hi, hi. Let's not wasting time here. Let's see. Hi. Where's Susana and Walter? Susana and Walter Arana. Okay. Start, Susana. You start, Susana. Okay. Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work for weekdays and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturday? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hours? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Thank okay, you. perfect. 
Now, Susana and Walter Ruiz. Walter okay. Ruiz, you start. Yes. How are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work for week, for week days and sometimes on Saturday. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is so much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Okay, thank you very much. Now, let's see, let me see. Now, Berta and Daisy, Berta, you start. Okay. Yes, how are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? Daisy. Who was it? Daisy, hello. I think she's busy. Let's Perdón, sorry, sorry. Oh, okay. Let's start again, Berta. Okay. Yes, how are you doing? I want to ask you. How many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. <laughs> well, I work fine day a week and you? That's great. I work for weekdays and something on Saturday. Really? On Saturday? Do you work extra hour and how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hour when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around ten dollars. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Perfect. Thank you very much, Sonia and Karen. Yes. Sonia, you will start. Yes, okay. Karen, how are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? Hey, Sonia. Well, I work five days a week, and you? That's great. I work four week days and sometimes on Saturday. Really? On Saturday? Do you work at hours? And how, how much money do you pay? for each X hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is so much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Perfect. Come on, Sonia, next time more emotion, more emotion. You're too serious. I'm tired. <laughs> Come on. Let's see, let's see. Boy. Vladimir and Alfonso. Who starts? Okay. Hi. Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you how many how many days a week do you work? Hey Ben. Well, I work five days a week. And you? That's right. Work four weeks day. And sometime on Saturday. Really? <clears throat> on Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when they is, is too much work to do. Each extra hours is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. 
let me see who's next. Uh, Arvin and Oscar. Arvin, okay. you start. You start. Okay. Jeff, how are you going? I want to ask you how many, how many, how many days a week do you work? Hey man, well, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work four weeks a day and sometimes on Saturday. Really? On Saturday? Do you work extra hour? hour? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours. When work is too much work to do, each extra hours is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is no more time, right? Absolutely. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Uh, how are you doing? How are you doing, Arvin? Okay. okay, teacher. Now, let's see. Next is going to be... Elwin and Luis Armando, please. Yes, teacher. Please start. Yes, please. Okay. I, 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 I go. Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben, well, I work five days a week, and you? That's great. I work for week days, and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. Well, Sunday there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Thanks, Luis. Okay, thank you very much. Perfect. Very well done. Now let's go back because I told you that I was going to explain something. Okay, perfect. Let me show you. Okay, here. It says, Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you how many days, remember how many, countable. How many days a week do you work? Hey Ben, well, I work five days a week. And you, that's great. I work four weekdays. Remember when you say weekdays, you are talking about Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Those are weekdays. The other two days, Saturday and Sunday, are weekend. Okay? Weekdays is from Monday to Friday. Really? On Saturdays, do you work extra hours? Remember, extra hours, or you can say overtime. And how much money? Do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. That expression, not much time. Let me see. When you, oh, oh, oh. okay, when we say not much time, we are saying, let me send it to you, not 
much time. He is saying there is not. Okay, the expression should be like this. There is not enough time. Like this. Okay. Es decir, no hay tiempo suficiente. O in our style will be like uh, no alcanza el tiempo. Okay. Sometimes, a veces, no alcanza el tiempo. Sometimes there is not much time. And let me see. Okay, yeah. Now, let's make a small review of the topic that we already saw in the grammar explanation. But we are going to check it again. Remember, guys, we have how many and we have how much. Remember that when we use how many, we use how many for countable nouns, hours, days, week, years, etc. How many days a week do you rest? How many hours a day do you work? We use how much when we talk about uncountable nouns, like money, okay? Money, that's uncountable. Time, uncountable. How much money do they pay per extra hour? How much time do we have? You see? How much money do they pay per extra hour? How much time do we have? Questions with the use of how much and how many? Preguntas con el uso de how much, how many? Hello. Can I say how much money do you earn? Yes, sure. Okay. You can also say how much do you make? That's the correct word. How much do you make? No, both are correct. Ah, okay. It just depends. It just depends on with whom you are talking to. Depende más bien de con quien hable. Okay? If, if, it's, if it is a co-worker? It depends. What's the relationship you got with that co-worker? Uh, friendly. Friendly. Okay. Hey, man. How much do you make? Ah, okay. How much do they pay you? Okay? But if it's a more formal conversation, how much do you earn? Per month okay okay thanks teacher you're welcome teacher um, yes. no much the um, how many and how much no much is confused okay no much mm, no mucho simplemente o se refiere usted a la frase no much time Mm, español, este, yeah, tell me, tell me. No, no entiendo el how many con el how much, me confunde. Ok, vamos a hacer la pausa en español, ok. Seré breve, seré rápido y al punto. How many, cosas contables. How much, cosas incontables. ¿Cuáles son las contables? Todo aquello que literalmente podemos contar. Eh, objetos, personas, right? Máquinas, tareas, clientes. How much? Aquellas cosas que no podemos contar. Agua, a cualquier líquido, este dinero. Términos generales que re se refieren que encompasan, no sé si esa palabra existe en español, encompass mm -hmm. eh, un Me grupo. Confunde, ya llegó a mi punto. <risas> Oh, vaya, a eso voy. A eso voy. El, ok. Como por ejemplo, furniture, muebles. La palabra muebles en general se refiere a todo el universo de muebles. Uh -huh. It's uncountable. La palabra muebles is uncountable. Desk, un desk, is furniture. Un escritorio uh -huh. es parte de, pueblo, de los muebles. But a desk is something that you can count. Es algo que sí puede contar. Ok. Cuando hablamos de las cosas incontables, como por ejemplo en los líquidos, yo les explicaba un día de estos. Eh, los líquidos no se cuentan, se miden. Y usted lo que cuenta son las unidades de medida. 
Usted dice uh -huh. botellas, tazas, litros, uh -huh. galones, right? Right. Entonces, esas cosas son incontables. I use a how much. El otro uso que tiene how much es cuando usted habla sobre precio. ¿Ok? Lo, el precio de algo. Y yo les explicaba a algunos de ustedes que en las sesiones que tuve uno a uno. Es simple y para que no lo, haya, no lo haga muy complicado. Directamente en español usted lo usa de esta manera. How many? ¿Cuántos o cuántas? Esa S que va al final es lo que nos define si algo se puede contar o no. ¿Por qué? Porque cuando dice how much, usted dice cuánto o cuánta. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Le voy a poner un ejemplo. Este, estoy hablando con, con Oscar, por ejemplo. Hello, Oscar. Can you open your microphone, please? Hello, teacher. Dígame, este... ¿Cuánta? Yo. Hello, teacher. Ok, Oscar, le quiero hacer una pregunta. Hello. ¿Can you hey. hear me? ¿Me oye bien? Yes. Ok, yes. Oscar, este. Escuche, Daisy. Yo le pregunto a él: ¿cuánta. ¿Cuánta agua puedo mover con una bomba de unos 10 caballos de fuerza, por ejemplo? Ok. Um, eh, five, uh, galones, galones. Galones. Oh. Por minute. Ok, per minute. Si se fija, él me dio un número, pero el número se refirió yes. a las unidades de medida, los galones. Ok. Sí. Yes. Uh -huh. Yo le pregunto ahora, por ejemplo, Sonia. Sonia, how much water do you drink a day? Uh, around two liters. Ok. Nuevamente, me dio una unidad de medida. También me pudo haber dicho mucha o poca. Right? Right. Porque son incontables. ¿Vamos mejor ahí? Sí, sí, sí. For the rest of you, para el resto de la clase. This is very important, actually. It's an easy topic, but uh, it's a little bit confusing. Este es un tema fácil, pero a veces se nos vuelve un poquito complicado. Any question? Any other question? Is it clear? Está claro. If not, I can look for more information and provide it to you. Si no, busco más información y se las hago llegar. No, it's es clear. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Any other question, guys? Perfect. Let's continue. We have, oh my gosh, it's time again for the attendance. Time flies here. Let's see, Alf Alfonso Antonio Cabrera. Present teacher. Arvin Enrique Ramos. Present teacher. Berta Maritza Molina de Villalta. Present teacher. Claudia Guadalupe Alfaro Gómez. López, no here. And Daisy Elizabeth Celaya Gómez. Present teacher. Edwin Daniel Sevillano Deras. Present teacher. Evelyn Patricia Caballero de Molina. Ivania Elizabeth Rodríguez Ramos. Karen Lisset García Rodríguez. Present teacher. Luis Armando Leiva Rodas. Present teacher. Mauricio Arnoldo Quintanilla Cuellar. Oscar Armando Rodríguez Rodríguez. Present teacher. Eh, Ricardo Alberto Hernández Monje. Roxana Claribel Trejos de Pérez. Sandra Yanira Moreno Sarabia. Sonia Mabel Lazo González. Present teacher. Susana Carolina Hernández Ciraeta. Present. Vladimir Antonio Martínez Molina. Present teacher. Walter Alexander Arana Cortés. Present teacher. Walter José Ruiz Ayala. Present teacher. Ok, let me check on something. Ok, let's continue, guys. No more questions? Teacher. Yes. Hey. Teacher, I have a... Bueno, tengo una pregunta que es más de interpretación. 
Tell me. No es de los how money ni how much. Tell me, tell me. Eh, cuando Jeff dice, I work five days a week, trabajo cinco días a la semana. Y Ben dice que trabaja cuatro, esa parte no la entiendo. Four ok, se los explicaba yo. Cuando hablamos, cuando decimos el término weekdays, is from Monday to Friday. El término weekday se refiere a from Monday to Friday, de lunes a viernes. Cualquier día comprendido entre lunes y viernes are weekdays. ¿Por qué? Porque los otros dos, Saturday and Sunday, are weekends. Fin de semana. Como ¿Sí? cuando nosotros decimos entre semana. Yep. Trabajo tres días o entre semana y los fines de semana. And weekdays, weekends. Weekends es fines de semana. Weekdays es de lunes a viernes. ¿Ok, Susana? Okay. Any other question? No. Okay. Uh, teacher. Yes. Repeat a new. Nuevamente, please. Weekdays is de lunes a viernes. Weekends. Weekends. Saturday and Sunday. Weekends okay. is sábado y domingo. Okay. Weekend. Okay. Perfect. Let's continue. Okay, guys. Teacher. Yes, Selwyn. Eh, ya regreso. No problem. Ya, ya regreso, sorry. No problem. Okay, guys, we have an exercise here. Let's see. Oscar, think fast. Number one is yours. Tell me. We are in page 17. Okay. How, is in one. how much or Please. how many? How many? Money? How many money? How much? How um, much? Money is in a bank. Uh, yeah. Okay. In this case, remember, uh, it's uncountable. It's incontable. Money. How much? Money. How yes. much money is in a bank? Number two, Sonia. Hola. Number two is you. Yes. How, how many? Hola. Yes. How many paper? H how many paper does a printer need? Okay, listen to these two sentences. How many paper does a printer need? How much paper does a printer need? Is paper. Paper. Okay, I'm going to explain again. Le recuerdo mm -hmm. algo. La palabra papel Falta la S. es un, es es un término que envuelve yes. en un grupo, ¿verdad? Paper es un término en general. Los términos en general son incontables. Incontables. Like fruits. Al igual, how much? A, yes. Al igual que fruta. Cuando usted dice fruta. El término fruta. Me encanta yeah. la fruta. How much fruit do you eat? ¿Qué tanta fruta come? And you tell me, oh, I eat a lot. I, I eat a few. Ok. Yeah. You get it? Let's continue, let's continue. Me confundo, pero ahí vamos. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. It's Ivania's fault. Es culpa de Ivania por venir más tarde hoy. Okay, let's continue. Number three, Daisy. Uh, how many hours a day does he work? Perfect. How many hours? Remember, it's in plural. Of course, in this case, it's countable. Number yes. four, Berta. How much information is on the internet? Okay, how much information is on the internet? Perfect. Next, let's see, let's see, let's see. Next one goes to... Uh, Arvin. Number five. Yes. Number okay. five. 
Number five, okay. Um, how many days a week do you rest? Perfect, excellent. Now let's see, Mr. Ruiz, the last one. How many employees does your com company have? Okay, thank you. Employees. How many employees? Employees. Employees. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's see. Oh, Ivania and Evelyn. Ivania, let's see. I need you to please say present. Ivania Elizabeth Rodriguez Ramos. Present teacher. And let's see who's the other one. Evelyn Patricia Caballero de Molina. Present teacher. Thank you. Perfect. Let's continue. I'm sorry, guys. Nobody else has come? No. Oh my gosh. Okay. Now, guys, I will send you to work in pairs. You are not going to write. You are going to discuss about the events and activities you and one co-worker do in your company. Do you remember that you've been talking about your own activities? Now, you are going to include your activities and the activities of one of your co-workers, okay? So, right now, it is going to change a little bit. Ahora nos va a cambiar un poco. Because we are going to talk about our activities and the activities that somebody else from our company does, okay? So, I need you to think about somebody, a coworker you got, someone that you know the, the specific activity that person does, and tell your classmate about that person. I need you to tell your classmate at least four activities. Necesito que ahora me van a hacer la actividad, le van a decir a su compañero de, de este curso las actividades de un compañero suyo de trabajo. ¿Ok? It cannot be your activities. No pueden ser los de ustedes. I need you to tell your classmate about your co-workers activities. ¿Ok? So, Think about one of your co-workers that you know the activities he or she performs. Piensen, escojan alguien de que ustedes saben, conocen las actividades que esa persona desarrolla. And tell your classmate, he or she, tell the name of the person, the position, me le dicen el nombre, la posición, and four activities that person develops during the day. Y cuatro actividades que esa persona desarrolla a lo largo del día. Is it clear the instruction? ¿Entendemos la instrucción? Yes, I have a question. Is just one coworker or one coworker? Two? One, okay. One coworker is okay. Sorry, teacher. Yes, uh, tell me. I drink water and repeat, please, for me. Okay. Uh, you need to tell your classmate, I'm going to divide you in pairs. You need to tell your classmates about the activities one of your co-workers develop. Me lo va a decir a su, a su compañero. The name of one of your co-workers. El nombre de uno de sus compañeros. The position that person has in your company. La posición que tiene esa persona en su compañía. And four activities that person develop. Y cuatro de las actividades que esa persona realiza. ¿Ok? Ok. Um, de lo que conocemos hasta ahora de cada uno. No, no, no. De Somebody una persona. From your company. Ah, ok. Thank you. You're welcome. Ok, guys. Jump in. Let's do it. No activo el micrófono. Hello, guys. Yes, Selwyn. Come on, guys. In this group, I don't want to hear no Spanish. Not from this group. Not from you, the three of you. The okay. three of you are not allowed to use Spanish at all. Okay? 
Okay, teacher. No, no more. Okay, teacher. It's not acceptable. Don't speak the Spanish. Yes. Oh, Don't speak the Spanish. Hello, Sonia. Hola, le iba a decir yo. Oh, come on, on Sonia, you're <laughs> killing me here. Mentira. Buenas mentira. noches. Hey, teacher. Vale, what, vale. what about Spanglish? Oh. Not even that. Come on, come on, guys. Mira, mentira. You are, you are a little bit higher than that. Okay? So make your best effort. In this case, the three of you do not need to use Spanish. Okay? Okay. Okay, teacher. I'll okay. be back. I'll be back to sneak on you. Vendré a Okay. <laughs> es, eh, environment engineer. Environment. Environment. Engineer. Eh, um. Eh, eh, to. Eh, he realizes 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 uh, perform environment diagnosis 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 okay you can do this if your vocabulary i'm sorry oscar if your vocabulary is too complex si el vocabulario que está usando muy complejo you can say the sentence and in the chat from the from zoom you can send the sentence directly to daisy Le puede enviar directamente la oración a Daisy. You can type it. Okay. Um, Thank you, teacher. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Because, <laughs> because in his area is very technical and very specific. Su área es muy técnica okay. y específica. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, you understand. <laughs> Attend a meeting. Attend a meeting. Me meeting. Este, he called. He called to. Okay. Um, yo podría describir a, a mi compañero. Eh, mm -hmm. Él se llama Raúl. His name um, is Raúl. His name. His name. Okay. Um, I describe my co-worker, Raúl. Okay. He is Don Pollo Cook. Um, on number one, he bread um, chicken in the morning. Okay, perfect. He breads chicken. Okay. Do you know that expression, Ivania? Do you understand that expression? He breads chicken? He breads. Yeah, he's telling you this. He breads chicken in panisa. Okay. okay. He breads chicken. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Continue. Um, number two. Uh, Raúl. How's it going, guys? Hey. Teacher. I scared you. Me va a subir el azúcar. Hello, Walter. You're busy today. No yeah. Yeah. Very, very. Your job is complex sometimes. Today uh, is very complicated. Today is uh, very complicated. I can imagine. Very thought about the after is very crazy. I can imagine. I can imagine. In this moment, I had one, two, three, maybe ten calls lost. Really? Okay, ten lost calls. Yeah. Ten lost. Ten calls. lost calls. Man, that's ten crazy. Lost calls. Yeah. I'm finisher. You finish? You okay. finish. Yes, finish. Okay, let me go check in the other groups, okay? Strategies. Investment. Investment. Strategies. 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 Okay. She studies and analyzes. Analyze. She studies. She, she studies 
en análisis en eh, financial analy an ¿cómo? Analyze. Analyze. Analyze financial information. Okay, financial information. Cool. She analyzes. Analyze. Analyzes. Analyzes. Analyze. Eh, economy tense. Every day. Ella envía correos también. La primera revisa y la última es ella envía. Come on, Walter, do you use in Spanish? I don't believe it. Sorry, sorry, teacher. I don't believe it. Not from you, man. Not from you. In the case of no, both of you, Susana and Walter, come on, you are not using Spanish. No more. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's, it's because <laughs> I, know, I know your level. Yo les conozco el nivel. So in your case, you're a little bit higher. Okay. I'm going to push you more. Hey. Okay. okay. Time's over. Okay. 60 seconds. Okay. That's okay. You finish. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Wow, I like it when I got too many faces here. Un poquito de tiempo, teacher. <laughs> Say what? Did you finish? No, <laughs> time was enough. <laughs> Alfonso. Yes? The chat. Yeah, in the chat okay. is the, the, the sentences. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see. Um... Walter Ruiz, tell me about your classmate's co-worker. Ya te dormí, ah. se gorda. Sorry, Sonia. About Alfonso, the, co the co owner is right. Okay, his co worker? The co worker is Jesus Lara. Okay. The first activity is prepare reports. Second is chat attendant of co workers. Verify the operation of machines. Uh, control of extra hour. Okay, perfect, Walter. Keep on working, mister. Just remember, verify, verify. Verify. Thank you. Appreciate it. Now, let's see. That was Walter Ruiz. Let's see. And his co-worker was Alfonso. Alfonso, tell me about Mr. Ruiz's co-worker. Okay. Um, allocation of important of export equipment. A, a equipment. 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 Sorry. Collection to to clients. 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 Sending emails and preparation of false documents. Okay. Perfect. Thank you very much. Excellent. Good pronunciation. By the way, thank you, thank you. Let's continue. Daisy, tell me about Oscar's co-worker, please. Um, uh, um he's Luis. Okay. Or, um, environment activities perform. Environment, diagnosis, diagnosis, environment, diagnosis, diagnosis protection plan for hydraulic, recharging areas, position is environment engineer, engineer, engineer. engineer. Engineer, prepare a report, attend a meeting. Okay, perfect. Now, just uh, Oscar, let's make something clear. Is that person an environmental engineer? Or the title specifically no, says uh, environment sorry. engineer? 
environment engineer. Okay, thank you it's, very much. Uh, the language, the, my computer, uh, corrige. Okay, thank you. Let's see, let's continue, let's continue. Next, uh, Berta, tell me about Mr. Leiva's co-worker. Okay. The co-worker uh, is Oscar Rodriguez. Okay. He is the CAO. Um, his activities. He attend a meeting. He he call with partner. Uh, he visit to order operator and check report. Reports. Reports. Report. Thank you very Report. much. Luis, tell me about Berta's coworker. Okay, his name is Jose Mejia. Your position is his his position. His, uh, oh, I'm sorry, his position is technician receptor. And and, and I have a one activity. He is customer customer support. Customer support. Perfect. Thank you very only, much. Only, only. Excellent. Well done. Now, let's see. Next. Uh, Edwin, tell me about Vladimir's activities. Okay. Well, uh, Vladimir's co-worker. Co-worker. Saul Argueta. He monitors the internet service. 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 He manages the line of server, servers. He prepare a statistic from 0365. He is an analyst Thai E. What does he pronounce? Thai E. What's that, Vladimir? Analyst IT, information IT. technology. Uh, IT. IT. Ah, después de la corrección. IT. <laughs> okay, <laughs> perfect. Thank you. Vladimir, tell me about Sonia's co-worker. Okay, let me see. Sonia talks about Evelyn Caballero. Oh, come on. She is, she is a manager inspector area. Okay. She supervises emergency services. She brings trainings, it, she visits clients, and she prepares reports. Okay, that was easy. We know Evelyn. Esa estuvo fácil, ya la conocemos. Okay, okay. Sonia, tell me about Edwin's coworker. Okay, his coworker is Juan Jose Murcia. Okay. Ay, wait. Juan Jose Murcia is supervi supervisor. He coordinators in selection installations gps he makes report he coordinators no sé cómo se pronuncia esto subi cómo es subi subi jans o qué su truck no sé qué cómo se pronuncia what de seguridad teacher eh, vigilante vigilancia security guard mm. Surveillance, yeah. me parece a mí. Surveillance, surveillance. surveillance. Yes, surveillance. but that's different. Surveillance is when I'm assigned to just look at you. In this case, you are talking about security guard. La diferencia okay. es esta. Este, está hablando de una persona que se dedica a darle seguimiento a una persona en específico o a un objeto en específico. That's surveillance. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Vigilancia. Por, porque vigila contenedores. Okay, in that case, yes, surveillance. Entonces, he surveillance the truck. Okay. okay. Just Sonia, look at me. Truck surveillance. Ah, okay. Uh, he... Sorry. <laughs> okay. 
Let's continue. And Let's. Entonces, he to trucks surveillance. Yes. And tell me the first okay. sentence you told me. Dígame la primera y la segunda oración que me dijo. Coordinators in he installation okay. installation GPS. The other way around, Sonia. GPS installation. Perfect. That's it. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Let's continue. Okay. Let's see. Arvin, tell me about Ivania's co-worker. Okay. Um, I just read uh, Elizabeth. I'm sorry? Hi? Perdón, no le escuché. Okay. Um, Elizabeth Mendez. Okay, tell me about... Okay, she's a traffic uh, area supervisor. Uh, make a report of driver trips. Um, send a signal shopping company status. Check full report. Um, check the reports of the employees entries and ex exit exits. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Now, it's your turn, Miss. Uh, Ivania. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Um, his co worker, um, Raul, his name, Raul. Um, he is Don Pollo, is cook. Okay. Um, his bread chicken in the morning. And Raul, he fill out hand washing reports. And he wash the piece in the afternoon. And he, he help service customer. And he organize winner every day. Okay, organizes. Organize. Perfect. Thank you very much, Evel. Uh, Ivania. I'm sorry. Okay. okay, let's see. Evelyn. Hello, Evelyn. Hello, teacher. Tell me about your cla your classmates co-worker. Um era, uh Daisy's co-worker. Uh, Miss Mary Cordova. Okay. She is a countdown and at Azure in the position financial analyst. Uh, his activities, no, her activities. Her activities. Her activities uh, are G. Uh, business clients, their investment strat strategies. Okay. She study and uh, analyzes financial information. Uh, she analyzes economic economic things. She plan calculate review budgets. Okay, perfect. Just look at me. Advices. 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 Yes. Advices. Advices. That expression Thanks. specifically it means aconsejar. But uh, when you are talking about that level, cuando hablamos de ese nivel, is a little bit more complex. Es un poquito más complejo. Okay? When you talk in, yeah. that, in that level in a company, well, you know, it's uh, when you advise about a company or services or something like that, is more complex, but the word can also be used for, uh, hey, Evelyn, I'll give you an advice. Pero la palabra también se usa en el término sencillo. Le puedo aconsejar algo. Can I give you an advice? You see? De acuerdo. Thank you very much. Thank now, you. Now, thanks to you. Let's see, let's see. Daisy, tell me about Evelyn's co-worker. Daisy. 
Hello. Okay, I think this is not available. Susana, tell me well about Walters. Arana. Como no, okay. Okay. okay, there's Daisy. I'm sorry, Susana. Give me a second. Tell me, Daisy. Tell me. Who's no. Evelyn's co worker? Mm. Yo ya dije. Oh, you did it? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Daisy, then. Oscar, pero puedo otra vez. Okay, no, 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 no problem, no problem, no problem. Who was your partner, Evelyn? ¿Quién era su compañero, Evelyn? Excuse me, Karen. Oh, Karen. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, Daisy, my bad. Yeah, and Karen. <laughs> what happened to Karen? She's gone. Okay. Susana, now tell me about Walter. Arana, please. Okay. But, okay. The worker um, is Ivania. Okay. She is coordinator traffic. Okay. Susana, and look he, at me. Su, look at me. Traffic okay. coordinator. Traffic coordinator. Okay. She receives emails every day. Perfect. She coordinates lodging transport. Okay, perfect. She prepare report to client. Yes. And she send emails every oh. day too. Okay, excellent, excellent. I don't believe you that much, but anyway, Ivania, they told me she doesn't do anything. <laughs> okay, thank okay. you very much, Susana. <laughs> uh, Walter, tell me about Susana's coworker, please. Okay, uh, Susana, tell me about this. Sonia, the receptionist, receptionist okay. of her company. She answered call phone. Okay, she look, I'm sorry, Walter. I'm sorry. She answers, she answers phone calls. And Phone call. Sorry. She attended visit. Attends. Attend visit. Visitors. Visitors. Yes, visitors. She attend visitors. She had cashier money. Okay. She receives the correspondence. Receives. Oh, receives. Receives. She receives. Correspondence. Hmm. Correspondence. Yes, you can say it like that. Okay, thank you very much, guys. Everything was well, well done. Now, we've been talking about affirmative. Now we are going to review the negative form. Do you remember the negative form of simple present? We saw it the, in the previous module. Today we are going to just to breeze it, okay? We are going to breeze it. I don't know how to work, how to write that word. Vamos a verlo así rapidito, okay? And let me, I'm sorry, man. My mind is crazy today. Like this, perfect, okay. The simple present negative statements. She does not work on weekends. They do not have much time. Remember the structure, subject. Okay, let me put this in this. Subject, she, auxiliary, do or does. Remember, in this case, as it is the third person, he, she, or it use does, okay? She does not work on weekends. Look, not after the auxiliary, then the main verb in the base form. Remember, the main verb in the base form. This, this verb is in the base form. Why? Because we have the auxiliary here. That's why. If we have the auxiliary do, or in this case, does, because we are talking about she, 
The verb comes in the main form. That means no es. The es is just for the affirmative. As this one is negative, the verb in the base. Now, then we have the complement, okay? Remember guys, something that I need you to remember. Whenever we use he, she, it, you know already that for these expressions, what we use is does, okay? This is the third person. Remember that all the time, please, that he, she, and it, they use does. For the rest, we use do, okay? Like in the case of Juan and Pedro, that's they. We, it's the second person, so we use do again. These ones are plural, we use do. In the third person singular is when we use does, okay? That's why we have the examples here. Maria does not work at HPBC. Marcos does not stay late at work. Juan and Pedro do not write reports. We do not send letters, okay? Now, guys, let me... Okay. What are we going to do? What's our activity right now? Our activity is very, very simple. I will divide you in groups of three members, okay? And you are going to tell your classmates two activities that you do not do on Sundays, okay? Two activities you do not do on Sundays. Just only Sundays, teacher? Yes, just okay. on Sundays. Two activities you do not do on Sundays. Take notes because you are going to report about your classmates, okay? You are going to have four minutes for this activity. Let me just recreate groups. Five minutes, teacher. Come on, man. <laughs> okay, let's make it five minutes. Yeah, we have okay. that time. Let's do it. Sunday. Sunday, right? Yes, Sunday. Do not, do not Sunday. on <clears throat> Sunday. Things that you do not do on Sundays. Cosas que usted no hace el domingo. Okay. No. Bueno, la que dijo la compañera. No, no, no revisar, se me olvidó. Check. Hey, no check my email. Ok. Who doesn't check emails? ¿Quién es que no revisa los emails? I. Ok, I do I? not, I do not check emails. Okay. Hurry up, hurry up. Just three more minutes. Client in Sunday. I don't. On Sunday. Not I not call client. Call client. On Sunday. On yes. Sunday. No. On Sunday. On Sunday. On Sunday. On Sunday. Yes. Two activities. Okay. Uh, yes, Oscar and so. Yes, uh, another one. Um, um, 
quiero ver, quiero ver, quiero ver. Ah, no watch TV. I don't watch TV. I don't watch TV. You Alfonso, don't watch Alfonso does, doesn't watch TV on Sunday. Yes. He doesn't watch TV on Sunday? Yes. Oh, man. Doesn't watch Sunday TV. is for watching TV. No. So you are okay. not you are not a coach potato. <laughs> what is a coach potato teacher? Él no es un coach potato. A coach potato. No, no, no. A coach potato es una persona que pasa todo el día frente a la tele, viendo tele y comiendo snacks. <laughs> That's a coach hey. potato. Right. Yeah, no. Okay. I don't well, coach others, potato. Others, others activity uh, with my son. With my son. With my son. With my son. Sorry. Um, I'm playing soccer. 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 Um, go, go, go to the park. Vamos al parque. Or... That's cool. Other, others activity. You're a good father. Yeah. That's cool. That's actually great. How old well is your son? Sorry? How old is your son? Is seven seven years old. Seven years old. That's cool. Yes. Hey guys, by the way, yes. did you finish? Yes. Yes. We got it. Okay, 60 seconds. Okay. okay. Okay, okay, let's just wait for everybody to come back. Yes, where are all people? They're gone. The they difference, are, uh, on the the difference fourth. Vladimir, is that in your group there was your three persons. In the other yes. group, they were of four members. Ah, oh, really? Yep. We are the chores. Right? No, in this case, the smallest. The smallest. Ah, okay. Right. Sorry, sorry. We short, are the smallest. Short is like this. Or height. Yes, size. Size. Okay. Well, no, height. Yes, height. And in this case, small. Smallest. We are the smallest group. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Who is going to start? Who's going to be my volunteer? Sonia, you are the volunteer. Where are you? Yes. Okay, Sonia, just uh, start. Boy, 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 boy. Okay. You represent your uh, Sonia. I'm talk to I'm talk to Walter. You talk you are going to tell me about Walter, Luis, and Arvin. The three Walter. of them. No, the three of them. Me va a contar de los tres. Ah. You represent your group. Yeah. Walter. He do not uh, he does play soccer. He does on Sunday. He doesn't he does uh -huh. he doesn't play soccer. Okay. Continue. On Sunday. Uh -huh. He doesn't um I know he do he don't to the office. He doesn't go to the office. He doesn't go to the office. He, he doesn't uh, go to the room. Going to going to room. Okay. There was just one word that I didn't understand you, Sonia. E. Uh huh. What's that? E. And. N, perdón, okay. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. N, he... Perfect. Man. Okay. Next. Tell me about somebody. Next, else. Arvin. Okay. Uh -huh. Next, Arvin. He doesn't go home. Okay. 
Eh, he doesn't play soccer. Coincidió. ¿Cómo es coincidió? It was a coincidence. Okay. Uh, it was a coincidence co with Walter. Okay. And y no copié más. Okay, and that's it. Perfect. No problem. No problem. In your group, let's see. You told me about Arvin and you told me about Walter, right? Walter, yes. So, 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 so. What about Luis? Puede ser las mías. Okay, tell me yours, please. Yes, tell me. Uh, okay, I don't go to work. Okay. I do not do report. I do not see my coworker. Okay. Perfect. Thank you very much. Let's see. Walter only, Arana. Thank only you, that. Sonia. Walter Arana, tell me your activities. Two activities that you do not do on Sunday. Yes, yours. You. Uh, I not work on I, Sunday. I do not work. I do not work on Sundays. Sunday. I do not drive car on Sunday. Perfect. Excellent. That's it. Thank you. Vladimir, tell me two of your activities. Activities that you don't do on Sunday. Hi. Yeah, personal. Personal. Well, I don't wake up early. I, I don't cook for my children on Sunday. Okay, that's cool. That's your day off. Yes. It's your day off the kitchen. Your day off the kitchen. Yes. Excellent. We, we, also they say we pido Hugo. Okay, we order. We order by Hugo. Okay, that's cool. Oscar, tell me two activities you do not do on Sunday. Uh, I do not uh, check email in, on Sunday. Perfect. And I do not call client call. on Sunday. Call, call client. Call. Perfect, thank you. Call client. Thank you. Berta, Tisha. tell me two activities you do not do on Sunday, please. I do not check my email. Okay. And I do not go my work. Okay. You do not go to your job. Perfect. Edwin, what about you? I do work in Sunday. <laughs> yeah, you do work on Sunday. <laughs> Tell me two activities <laughs> that you don't do on Sunday. Yeah. yeah. I do not head marrying on Sunday. Okay. Uh, I do no GPA installation. Okay, perfect. Now, Edwin, who was your yeah. partner? Let me check. You were working yeah. with. ¿Con quién me trabajó usted? Berta, Ivania, and. Okay. Daisy. Tell me two activities that Ivania doesn't do on Sunday. Not. Yes. Ivania does not to short on Sunday. What? Shower? Church, church, the oh, iglesia. Oh, she doesn't church. go to church. Man, to I church. was worried. Ya me había preocupado. She doesn't go to church, okay? Ivania yeah, does. <laughs> yeah. Okay, perfect. Teacher, how do you say, how do you say in English, la sonrojo? Ya me estaba preocupando yo. Blushes. She doesn't prepare food. She blushes. Yeah, she got red here. She blushes. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Edwin. Thanks, teacher. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Evelyn. Hello. Hello, Evelyn. Tell me two activities you do not do on Sunday. My activities. I don't go to work on Sunday. I don't wake up early. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. 
Now let's see, guys. We are going to switch a little bit the idea of this activity. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Where is Susana? Susana. Hi. Tell me, Susana, do you do the laundry on Sundays? No, I don't. Why not? Because it's Sunday. And you don't I do don't. laundry on Sunday? No, I don't make laundry on the Sunday. Okay, when do you do the laundry? Sunday at mon I at Friday. Okay, you do it on Friday. Perfect. Thank you very much. Now let's see, let's see, let's see. Vladimir. Hello, teacher. Sorry, I was speaking with my microphone off. Okay, microphone, microphone. Microphone off. Okay. Tell me, Vladimir. Ed, do you does your wife prepare dinner on Sundays? Uh, she doesn't. Why not? Well, um, some Sundays that she works, she comes tired. Okay. And we eat pupusas like every Sunday. Oh, so Sunday is pupusas day. Sundays for pupusas and Sundays for tamales, like a good Salvadorian. <laughs> tamales. Yes. That's not acceptable. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. The only tamales I like are sugar tamales. Ah, well, sugar, uh, chicken, uh, pork. I, I saw your face, Sonia. I saw your face, so that's why you are next, Sonia. Thank you, Vladimir. <laughs> okay. Sonia, hello, Sonia. Hello. <laughs> Tell me, Sonia, do you do yeah. the laundry on Sundays? Uh, no, no. No, no I don't. Okay, why not? Because I laundry. The, I do the laundry. I do the laundry. I, I do the laundry Saturday? On Saturdays. On Saturday. Perfect. Thank you very much. Oscar. Hi, teacher. Tell me, Oscar, do you cook on Sundays? Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, tell me. What do you usually prepare lunch. for lunch? What do you usually prepare for lunch? Uh, meat. Meat. Okay, how do you prepare your meat? Roast? Um, asal? Roast? Uh, A barbecue? Uh, Barbecue. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see. Let's see. Alfonso. Hi, teacher. Tell me, do you watch TV on Sundays? No, I, no, I watch TV. No, I don't. No, I don't. Okay, why not? Because um, others like activities i do other activities i do i do other activities okay tell me some of those other activities please for example um i'm playing soccer uh, with my son okay perfect playing soccer with my son uh, go to the park Excellent. Um, I don't know. Not, not that, well that's done. enough. That's enough. Don't worry. That's okay. Perfect. Excellent. Well okay. done. Well Thank done. You. Well done. Walter Arana. Hello, teacher. Hello, Walter. Tell me, uh, do you do house chores on Sunday? Um, yes, I do, teacher. Okay, what activities do you do on Sunday in your house? What house chores? Um, I do watching TV. That's yeah. not a house chore. When I say house chores, okay, cuando le digo, cuando le pregunto si usted hace 
house chores. Remember, Walter, that, those mm -hmm. are las tareas de la casa. What we in Salvadorian say, el oficio de la casa. Okay. Mm. Do you do house chores on Sunday? Yes, teacher. I live in Maui in what? my house. Oh, yeah, it's true. You live alone. Your family is in the States. So yes. you do everything. <laughs> Talk early. Okay, what time do you wake up on Sunday? Is wake up um, nine. Nine o'clock. Okay, perfect. And tell me, Walter, do you go to church on Sundays? Do you go to church? Oh, uh, yes. Yes, I do, teacher. Um, go to short. Church? Um, five, five, 5 p.m. Okay. You go to the... Listen to me. Listen to me. You have mm -hmm. to tell me. I go to the 5 p.m. service. Okay. I or, go to the 5 p.m. service. Or you can say in this specific case, in este caso específico, if I'm not mistaken, you are Catholic, right? Usted es católico. Yes. So you can say, I go to the 5 p.m. mass. I go to the 5 p.m. mass. Mass yes. or mass? Mass. 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 Okay, okay, teacher. Only all, all people, solo personas muy mayores, you will listen to them saying mayas. Mayas, okay. Yeah, but that's all people, all people. And I'm telling you this because I used to work with, uh, 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 I used to work as a translator with some Catholic uh, priests. Yo trabajé como intérprete con algunos sacerdotes católicos. And they explained that to me that all people in the in the in the in the catholic church they used to call it no mass they used to say mayas so you can listen to that that word once in a while allá de vez en cuando van a escuchar a alguien diciendo mayas instead of saying mass okay let's see and i need one more volunteer thank you ivania you are my last volunteer of the night Teacher. Hello, Ivani. I'm sorry. It's just because I didn't saw Arvin on time. Era Arvin que tenía en mente, pero ya que la llamé a usted. Sorry, Arvin. Next time it's going to be you. <laughs> so, Ivania, tell me. This, tell me, Ivania. Uh, do you shower on Sundays? No, I'm kidding. Do you do the laundry on Sundays, yes. Ivania? Yes, every day. <laughs> do you do the laundry on Sundays? Do you do? The laundry? Laundry. Yeah, the laundry. Wash clothes. La lavandería. La lavandería. Ah, laundry. Yes. Yes, I do a laundry. Okay, tell me. You do the laundry for how many people? Para cuántas personas? Um, three. I do the laundry for three people. Okay, who are those three persons? Who are they? Quién es? Uh, my daughter uh -huh. and my partner. Okay, perfect. Your daughter and your partner. Perfect. You can say boyfriend. If you're not oh. married, you can say boyfriend. That's okay. <laughs> yes. Thank you very much. Okay, guys. Before we finish, any question? Antes de terminar, alguna pregunta? No? Nope? Okay, please, please. I need you to work on the platform. Necesito que trabajemos en la plataforma. Okay? I'm going to be checking later on today and tomorrow. Voy I a estar revis sure. Perfect, thank you. Voy a estar revisando ahora y mañana por la noche. So, please, work sure. on it. Yes? Tengo una pregunta. Eh, eso era una de las preguntas que iba a hacer. De, de, 
de, de, de las tareas de la plataforma hasta qué horas teníamos mañana para ver. Bueno, well, I'm going to start getting them in the afternoon. Yo voy a estar con Voy a comenzar a pasarlas en la tarde. Si alguno de ustedes tiene algún inconveniente, me comunica para yo estar atento y esperarlo. Ok. okay. Puedo todavía por la mañana. Por el... Yeah, sure, sí. sure. No problem. Thank you. Ok, thank you. Thank guys. Have a good weekend. Enjoy. Rest. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Ok. Nice. Bye. Sonia, Vladimir, Elwin. I will Bye. send you more. Walter. Doesn't come today. I will send you more tomorrow. Mañana les envío más. There's no way. Ok, no. thank you, teacher. Perfect. Ok. No good problem, no problem. Thanks. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night, teacher. Okay. Good night. Good night, Bye. everybody. A los que quedan. <laughs> good night. Good night, Arvin. Take care. Good night. Bye, Alfonso.